Captain Leroy Dowd of the Verity Falls PD Criminal Investigation Unit. Brown Bellwell, pictured here, is one of our agency's most elusive suspects, the ringleader of a far-reaching and deeply penetrating crime syndicate. Several weeks ago, we found one of Bowell's co-conspirators pictured here hiding in plain sight. Our department immediately opened an investigation. The investigation scope, enabled by the recent Clear Sight Act, allowed our department to produce a comprehensive account of the co-conspirators' airtime communication activity over the past three years. With cooperation from the state, we now present that record to establish an incontestable fact the link between the co-conspirator and Mr. Bowell, the extent of the co-conspirator's transgressions, and lastly, the conditions for the closure of this case. Hello? Hi, is this Cal Modesto? That's me. Hey, Cal. Welcome to your virtual Tailwind University orientation appointment. My name's Allegra, and I'll be your guide for today's session. Allegra, listen, I really just need to know my registration passcode and who my advisor is so I can register for classes. I understand. That information will be provided at the conclusion of today's session. Before we get on with today's itinerary, I see you haven't filled out your Woodchuck profile. Doing so will help your professors and classmates get to know you better. Is there any way we can skip forward to the end of this? I'm sorry, no. Mr. Modesto, hello. How was your orientation? Not long enough. Did you receive my email? Yes, I did. And all of your course selections went through. You're all set. However, there's a notice from the registrar's office, but I can't access the details about your issue. You'll have to check in with them about it. Yes, Cal Modesto, the assistant registrar had a message for you. About what? You'll have to ask her yourself. I'll give you her user code. But don't worry, it's not affecting your registration, so you can go ahead and start your classes. Okay, the online pretest will assess your competency in algebra, geometry, trig, and precal. It's only up till next week, so please schedule your session soon if you haven't already. Professor, I took the test and it said I passed, but I can't find the exact test results. Okay, has anyone else taken the test that can help our friend? Uh, Cal. Our friend Cal here locate his test results? I can. Just log into your student portal, go to testing, find where it says my test results, and from there choose calculus pretest. It's hard to spot, but it's there. Thank you. Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Hey, remember me from calculus? Oh, hey. Thanks for your help. I was like, wow, I bet you could hotwire a canoe. <laughs> Aw, thank you. But it's he. What? It's he, not she. So you're... A person caught up in a cyclone way beyond their control? Yeah. Something wrong? Sorry, I have an incoming call. We'll keep in touch? Sure. Later, Cal. Sir. I haven't heard from you in a while. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just busy. Oh, yeah, with what? School. School? Yeah, but it's nothing. Just a basic photography class. Kind of a new hobby. I see. Well, you let me know if you need me to take care of anything. Will do, sir. Anything at all? Yes, sir. Huh. She must be in a meeting or she left early, an emergency or something. I'd try again tomorrow. Do you know what this is all about? I wish I could tell you, but unfortunately I don't have that information. It could be an issue with your application, transcripts, tuition, fees, who knows? You'll just have to wait.
Okay, does anyone have any questions about general database design, creating a database schema, or the theory of database normalization? Yes. I had a question about organizing sets. What's up? Are there ways to show result sets outside of formal logic that allows them to be fully quantified instead? Yes, using what are known as quantified subquery predicates, but we won't be getting to that until later on in the semester, so keep your shirt on until then. Got it. By the way, I know that some of you might be questioning the relevance of this material, but more and more major companies are starting to adopt it for their project planning, so please pay attention to it. Who is this? Hi, I'm with the Freshman Social Club here at Tailwind. Interested in joining? Freshman Social Club? Yeah, so we can be more like a woodchuck family. Our first airtime meeting of the fall semester is this Wednesday. Sorry, not interested. Please, we'd love to get to know you better. Cal Modesto, civil engineering major. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I'm just here to work. I understand. Have you met Beverly Nile, the chair of your program? She has a lot of contacts in your field and always willing to help students get their foot in the door. Hmm. I'll give you her user code. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. I'm Cal Modesto, a new civil engineering major. Oh, and how are your classes going? Very well, ma'am. Glad to hear that. I intend to excel in this program and take full advantage of any opportunities offered, ma'am. Cal Modesto, was it? Yes, ma'am. And what is it you'd like to do as a civil engineer? I want to build really, really big things. And I won't let anything get in my way, ma'am, I swear. It appears, Mr. Modesto, that you had some serious conduct-related actions taken against you at a previous university. Looks like I did. So what does that mean? It means that you are prohibited from representing our school in any capacity, barred from receiving financial aid, and placed on first-degree conduct probation until the end of your career here. Is that it? Yes. I can live with that, but don't worry about me. I'm cleaning up my act. Okay, let's return to our earlier damn example. Can anyone tell me how we arrive at the result of the various reactant forces involved? Uh, go ahead, Miss. sorry, Mr. Cross. Thank you. You establish an equivalent force couple system for the base, add variables for the weight of the dam, add a variable for the force of the water, then apply the equilibrium equations. And how do we determine the equilibrium of the water forces? Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't... We implement a force triangle and all Pythagoras does the rest. That's correct. Does everybody see how the force triangle resolves the counteraction of the exerted forces? Mr. Modesto, just wanted to see if you changed your mind about our freshman social club? No. Very well. Is everyone here? Hey, Cal, I'm here. Where are Kyle and Reed? I have no idea. I'll call them. Hey guys, we're Reed and Glenn. Hey everyone, we all here? Glenn's not here, he was gonna call you guys. Good, Kyle's here. I couldn't reach Reed. I'm here. Okay, listen up everyone. I know we're all excited about graduation, but we still have this last major deadline to meet. Is anyone having any difficulty with their part? In any case, I still want to meet with all of you individually to square everything we have, okay? Hey Glenn. Hey Cal. Thanks for helping keep up morale among the group this past semester. How's everything on your end? Foundation, peers, platform, and cables. All measurements tabulated and stored on cloud space for Reed's use. Great, can we review real quick? Sure, let me share my screen. Hey Kyle. Hey Kyle. 
Thanks for preparing the meeting minutes and generally keeping us all on track this semester. How's everything on your end? Cost analysis is just about complete, waiting on the results of Reed's work. Great. Can we review it real quick? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Hey, Reed. Hey, Cal. Thanks for being the liaison between the professor and our group throughout the semester. How's everything on your end? Perfect. I've run all the simulations and logged all the results on CloudSpace. Awesome. Kyle can now run his final cost analysis. I'll let him know. Cool. I assume we're at absolute equilibrium. Absolute equilibrium. We have to be at absolute equilibrium. I want this bridge to be immaculate in form and function, like a work of art. Cal. Yes, ma'am. How's your bridge project going? We've had some setbacks, but I'm confident we'll overcome them. Got it. I can't give you specifics yet, but I can tell you that there is at least one important party interested in your results. Understood, ma'am. Don't hesitate to ask if you ever need anything. Just pencil on paper, ma'am. Where did you come from? Anyway, send me the final report as soon as it's finished. We're being watched by some very important eyes at home, but I have some bad news. What's wrong? Care to tell them, Reed? Our bridge isn't perfectly balanced, but not by much. Wait, does it need to be perfectly balanced? Does a monk need to reach Nirvana? Cal, I think you're overstressing the problem. The design is great as it is. I agree with Reed. It's a negligible issue. Guys. I trust whatever you want us to do, Cal. But don't be so hard on Kyle and Reed. Kyle is getting married and Reed just had a baby. They want the A just as bad as you do. Not about the grade. It's not? No. Then what? Something bigger, grander. Forget it. I know what I have to do. Tell the others not to worry about a thing. Okay, if you say so. Now, where have you been? I sent you the final report, ma'am. Yes, I read it and I immediately notified the Verity Falls Engineering Collective. With your permission, they'd love to publish everything related to your bridge design. How does that sound? That kind of attention would raise my profile, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I'm not so sure I- Well, it's very impressive work. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't. I'm uh, very protective of my methods. I don't want anyone to copy or steal what I've done. All right. I'll let them know that you're not interested then. See, I told you we didn't need to change anything. Water under the bridge. This is awesome. Did the professor have any comments? Yes, she was quite taken with one particular feature of our bridge. It's perfect balance. Wait, what? I revised the design. What did you change? Everything, actually. I ripped apart the original design and made the bridge completely self-anchored instead. It's untouchable now. How'd you do that? I had the time. Like my cap? <laughs> Where did you get that? I heard it so tomorrow would feel more real. Nice. So what did Niall think about our group project? She loved it. Recommended my part to be published. You're getting published? You deserve it. You should spend some time with her. She could write you a letter of recommendation for wherever it is you want to go. Not necessary. I already have a great connection with an irrigation firm up north. That's right. You told me about that. We have to stay in touch. Of course. Thank you to the Tailwinds Ensemble for that stirring rendition of our alma mater song. Our crucible is upon us. This ongoing halo virus pandemic has challenged all of us to adapt to a new normal. Today's commencement ceremony is one such example. 
But amid these dramatically altered circumstances, few have exemplified our university's core values of innovation, collaboration, integrity, and excellence, like the following summa cum laude graduates. Here's who they are and what drives them. Zora Vorpaya, who wants to bring honor and prestige to her family, who for generations have made major contributions to science, politics, and law. Stan Loris, who wants to fulfill the promise of becoming a mechanical engineer that was planted by a bottle rocket kit given to him on his eighth birthday. Cal Modesto, who wants to build really, really big things. Well, here at Legrand, we offer young and hungry civil engineers like yourself a congenial environment to thrive and an endless supply of projects with plenty of room for advancement. Did you have any questions about salary before I end this info session? No, not really. Then is there anything else I can answer for you? There is. I don't mean to sound like I have any skeletons in my closet or anything, but how rigorous are your identity screenings for new applicants? <laughs> well, we certainly don't want to let any foxes into the hen house. I understand, of course. But if an employee showed enough potential, I mean, if they really had a great deal to offer us, we wouldn't turn over too many stones. You sure about Legrand? Yes. They have a spotty reputation in spite of their alluring promises. What about Integral or Block? Hexatech's another great one. I've spoken with all of them, ma'am. Legrand is my choice. So can you help me secure an interview? Is this Mr. Cal Modesto? Yes. Hi, I'm the hiring manager for Legrand. We'd like to schedule an interview with you for our junior design position. Does next Monday at 10.30 a.m. work for you? Yes, I'm available then. Great. We'll be contacting you via airtime. May I ask who I'll be interviewing with? Meryl Danube. She's one of our general managers. Got it. I'll be ready. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. It just so happened that one of their board members owed me a favor. We go back a ways. I won't disappoint you, ma'am. I will land this position. I don't doubt it. Just be honest and tell them your story. Right. They're huge on authenticity. I understand you were quite a serious student at Tailwind University. Can you tell me a bit about your activities before your time at Tailwind? Before my time at Tailwind? Tell me about your formative years. My formative years? Were you fond of the sciences growing up? Sorry, of course I can tell you about that. It all started with my father, I guess, an accomplished engineer himself and my greatest inspiration. Build the edifice within, he'd always say. Mr. Modesto? Yes? Hi, this is Legrand again. We just wanted to let you know that a preliminary identity screening has been completed and Merle would urgently like to meet with you. Does this Thursday at 11.15 a.m. work for you? What's up? Sorry to bother you so late, sir. Well, what's the matter? Cal, relax. What happened? I think I might be in some bad trouble. Why? What'd you do? <sighs> Maybe something I shouldn't have. Here's what, Cal. Let's end this call so you can get some sleep. And if you're still feeling stressed in the morning, let's chat about it then, okay? Cal, I have good news. Did you just wake up? What's up? My contact at Legrand told me they were impressed with your interview. You really dazzled them. Really? No issue with the identity screening? Identity screening? Uh, never mind. 
yeah, I'm set to meet with her again on Thursday. Great. I'm proud of you, Cal. Thank you, ma'am. Cal, how are you? Fine. Was there an issue with my identity screen? Yes, actually, let's see here. Apparently, you're the owner of a small private island in the Leisure Lux Archipelago, Xanadu Island. What's going on here? Identity theft, ma'am. I'm in the process of taking care of it. Those scumbags. Is that all, ma'am? Well, with that out of the way. Yes? Legrand welcomes you aboard. You're hired. Congratulations. That's so awesome. Thanks. How's everything going with you at the irrigation firm? I don't know. I always feel uncomfortable around so many new people, like an imposter. Like I'm going to be found out and expelled because imposter. of- Imposter? You're the most genuine person I know. Thanks. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like someone you're not. You are who you are. Good morning, Cal. Morning, ma'am. Okay, Cal, your first assignment will be a project proposal requested by the city's transportation authority. A proposal, got it. Land, sea, or sky? For automobile traffic. Ah, a highway. No, just a simple paved road in the Western commuter belt. Oh. I'm sending you all the details and parameters now. And if you're ready, the steering committee members would each like to meet with you. Sure. Mr. Modesto, hello. Hi. Welcome to LeGrand. Thanks. I'm excited to get started. Great. Well, I'm the technical supervisor on the committee. Good to know. I hope you're not intimidated by any of us. The best advice I can give you starting out is to just be yourself. I appreciate that. Thanks. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Modesto. Hello. I can't wait to see what you have to offer. I'm the environmental supervisor. Good to know. Do you live and breathe engineering? Yeah. Great, that's what I love to hear. Good morning, Mr. Modesto, how are you? Just fine, happy to be here. Great, I hope you're getting comfortable. Yes, everyone's been very kind and accommodating. Well, just so you know, I'm in charge of budget. We should do lunch sometime when this pandemic is over in a hundred years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Modesto. Hello. There's no fooling me. I know exactly who you are. Uh, I'm sorry? I asked around, pulled some files. You're a Tailwind alumni, a fellow woodchuck. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you like that, Mr. Modesto. I'm the committee's legal supervisor. I make sure everything we do around here is, well, legal. Got it. But please, it's just Cal. How's your proposal coming along, Cal? Almost finished. The committee's anxious to see it. I'm anxious to share it. Great. The committee is expecting it by tomorrow afternoon. I'll be ready. I don't know if I was deviating too greatly from the standard process, but you tell me. Not an issue at all, Cal. This is one of the most clearly organized design documents I've seen here at the Grand. Really? It's the entire thing, to be honest. Sponge asphalt? Yes, sponge asphalt. How come I've never heard of it? It was invented by some lonely third world cement mason. It's rather pricey. How will you keep all this economically feasible? I have an idea. The People's Construction Company, huh? Yeah, they don't have the highest demand, but they work like Spartans. More interested in their portfolio than their profit. Interesting. I met one of them at my university job fair. I believe they're more than suitable for a simple job like this. We'll see what legal has to say.
Yeah, I don't see any obstacles with anything involved in this proposal. We'd have to draw up some new contracts, but that won't be a problem. Although our vetting department is capable enough, you never know who you can trust in this city. You did one hell of a job with this proposal, Cal. Thank you, ma'am. The steering committee has taken a real shine toward you. I heard the city's gonna name the road Charlie Tan Parkway. That's right. Well, who's Charlie Tan? A former city council member. What does he get a road named after him? He's very well connected. Yeah, I know, it's very political. But sometimes, and it's extremely rare when it happens, such an honor is bestowed upon those who've sacrificed their lives for something greater than themselves. I see. Hello? Who is this? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Jaden Bull. I am a senior at Verde Falls High. Uh, I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong music code. You're Mr. Modesto, who works at Lee Grant, right? I've been assigned to you as an intern. I wasn't aware of this. Who assigned you? It's part of our social responsibility directive for delinquent youth. It's just for today. <sighs> I would have appreciated some advance warning. Sorry. Well, he better not be a nuisance. I have work to do. Jaden's had some difficulties, but he's a good kid. What do I do with him? I don't know. Just give him some menial tasks to do for you. Okay, Jaden, listen up. I need you to spruce up the organization, formatting, and punctuation of some meeting notes. Make them look as best you can. Yes, sir. After you've done that, I'll send you some schematic files that need to be converted to a certain file format and put together in a particular order. Yes, sir. And when that's complete, do you know SlideMaker? Yes, sir. Good. I'll need you to prepare a slide presentation from an outline I'll provide. Yes, sir. We'll reconvene at 11.45. Mm -hmm. Did I do a good job, sir? Good enough, yeah. You, you build things where you work? Yes, I'm a civil engineer. How long have you been working there? About six months. What's the biggest thing you've built? Nothing too big so far. Well, it's lunchtime. We'll break for a bit, and then I have more for you to do this afternoon, okay? How's it going with Jaden? Great. He's a foster child. A foster child? Yes. I can't even imagine what that must be like. He's had a hard life. So what are your plans after high school, Jaden? My, my plans after high school, sir? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they'll see what I'm good at and give me a job, hopefully. Who are they? The vocational assignment program people. Listen, my father once told me something when I was about your age and in a similar situation, which I've never forgotten. What? He told me about the singular certainty. What's the singular certainty? Cal. Yes, ma'am? What did you say to the kid? What do you mean? According to his caregiver, he submitted an application to the National Epidemiological Institute. He wants to help fight the halo virus pandemic. A little wisdom goes a long way. Our VP heard about all this and was extremely moved. Add to this your record of top caliber work since you started here, and we feel strongly compelled to offer you a new position. What is it? Lead designer on our hydroelectric project. Hydroelectric? Count me in. Great. You'll be working with two others under my supervision. Clearance will be reaching out to you soon.
Mr. Cal Modesto? Yes. I'll be conducting a basic low-level security clearance questionnaire mandated by the state for your new position. Right, looking forward to working twice as hard. After we're through here, you'll be receiving your new credentials in the mail. They'll give you access to your respective work site. Got it. Question one. They want me to design the dam for their hydroelectric project in the Mano River Valley. Can you believe it? Well, you've always wanted to build big things. I'll be assisted by two other engineers on the project. I'll be able to apply everything I learned to Tailwind. But you know what the best thing about all this is? This dam will always be there. It'll outlive and outlast even the most virtuous. Careful, Cal. What? Don't let it consume you. <laughs> How'd your first week go, Cal? Excellently, ma'am. My design is off to a good start. Getting along with James and Roberta? They've been very helpful, but James is kind of... I know. Still, I managed to keep all the moving parts together. It's fine. Good. Feel free to reach out about anything. I'm rooting for you, Cal. Mr. Modesto. Yes? I was just reviewing your recent security clearance and there appears to be an issue. What's the matter? Well, I'm not permitted to say at this exact moment, but I just wanted to make you aware of it in case further action on your part is required. Just so you know, I've had a recent identity theft issue. Is that so? Low life cretins. But can I continue my work? I have a lot to do. You can. I'll check back with you at the end of the day. I'll be here. I sent you the updated topography report. Did you see it? Yes, and I made all the necessary adjustments. Great, let us know when you need our equipment specs. We have some rough but useful figures. we Will do, but I'm still working on the foundation. I like to work from the ground up. Did you always wanna be an engineer, Cal? Ever since my father said I'd make a great one someday. How about you, James? Me? I'd rather be grilling some ribs out back. Are you originally from Verity Falls? Sorry, I have to take care of something. I'll be right back, guys. Hello again, Mr. Modesto. What's up? It seems our clearance process has identified a long series of Class H drug offenses in your personal history. A series of what drug offenses? Class H, very serious. What does that mean? Well, to be frank, it means you're prohibited from continued involvement on your current project. I'm sorry, but we can't clear you. Okay, in that case, I would like to involve my legal counsel. Can I have your name and address? Who's your legal counsel? Ballin Associates. I know, I'm sorry I've been out of touch for so long. It's just that I've been busy with a little side gig and I need your help. Side gig? Yeah, just a little one. Okay, what do you need? <sighs> I'd only ask if I had no other options at my disposal, right? So I need one of your guys to apply a bit of, well, persuasion. Who needs it? Some company boy scout. Okay, what's the address? Mr. Modesto. Yeah? I'm sorry to contact you through my personal account at this late hour, but I'd like to re-engage with you on the matter of your security clearance. Okay. I'm not sure how to best put this, but given your past history with class H substances, I figured you could put me in touch with your supplier so I may procure said variety. I'm sorry? Siren Spice? It's off. What? I don't need one of you guys to intervene. Our Boy Scout wants to cut a deal. What deal? 
if I get him some siren spice, he'll play ball. And I told him I could. So can you help me out? Sorry, sir, but I need my security clearance to get back to work. Please. You said this was just a side gig. All right, it's a little more than a side gig, okay? But I'm safe. Trust me. Cal. Ma'am. I heard you had some issue with your security clearance, but last I checked, you're clear in the system. Oh, good. Yeah, just a minor anomaly. By the way, don't worry about the steering committee. I'll make sure they're all on the same page with everything our team decides. Got it. I'm... <laughs> this may sound weird, but I'm really trying to put myself into the dam. The design, I mean. I know exactly what you mean. We need more engineers like you who see these projects not as mere public works, but as a whole greater than the sum of the pieces. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Modesto. Yeah. I just wanted to express my deepest gratitude over the business we arranged and that you so kindly delivered on. Yeah, no sweat. I am truly thankful. Don't mention it. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Working at Legrand during this pandemic has felt so unnatural. It's nothing but talking heads every moment. Talking heads on and on and on and on. It's such a burden. It's such a heavy burden. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for sending over your brochure. A pleasure, Mr. Legrand. It's Cal Modesto. Legrand is the company I work for. Sorry, of course. Do you like what you see? It's a miracle. Yeah, we here at Leichstung are extremely proud of our Menschenfresser line of Francis Turbans. Menschenfresser? What is that in American? Man-eater, I believe. I only want the finest turbines for this dam. Mm. Please let us know when your company is ready to place the order, yeah? It would cost an arm and a leg. Besides, it's not your car to make. No local manufacturer has turbines nearly as powerful, capable of that many RPMs. How many RPMs are we talking about exactly? 1,000. <sighs> it's still way over our budget and Merrill's already made her position clear on this. We have to stick to the parameters outlined in the feasibility report. With all due respect to Merrill, we could override her on this. Let's worry about this after you actually finish the design. By the way, you're certainly taking your sweet time on it. It's almost done. Hurry up with the suds, Cal. The state is getting dry. Okay. I've been talking to our government liaison, and the bigwigs are losing patience with our rate of progress. Word is that the state is already looking at other consulting companies to take over after our preliminary design work is submitted. I know, not good. So where are we with the design? Cal hasn't finished it yet. Is this true, Cal? I need more time. What's happening, Cal? This better not be about Leistung turbines. They're the perfect complement to my design. Jesus Christ, Cal. I'm sorry, but I haven't spent six months agonizing over this design only to undercut You're it with- taking too long, Cal, and all our necks are on the line. Forget about the turbines and just finish the design. Yes, ma'am. So what did you two think of it? Yeah, I don't know. What's wrong with it? How'd you get to be lead designer on this project? Are you sure you followed all the construction code parameters? To the letter, Roberto. It's consistent with code inside and out. Let's just send it to the simulation team already and see what they think. 
We should wait on Meryl first. You too. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Give me a break. Go ahead with the simulation. I'll reserve my judgment until the results are in. Okay. And thanks for swallowing a bit of pride and taking one for the team. You're the most gifted engineer here at Legrand. If you do things right, I know you'll make something out of yourself. Yeah. James won't be joining us today. This morning he reported symptoms consistent with the halo virus. Let's keep him in our thoughts, okay, Cal and Roberta? Now about the simulation, I received the results this morning and... And? The dam's hydraulic motion has absolutely no friction from end to end. It's a marvel. Where did you come from? I have no doubt the design will be approved for construction straight away. They're gonna love this. Great. Sorry, I doubted you, Cal. <laughs> You're still raw about the choice of turbines, aren't you? I only want what's best for this dam. I know you do, but what you want simply isn't supported by the scope of this project. That's short-term thinking. Look, with everything going on with the halo virus, the state's infrastructure budget is already stretched thin as it is. The resources simply don't exist. Because we're not even putting up a fight. Cal, this dam isn't your personal passion project. Accept that. <sighs> yeah, we've received an order for four H1 mention Fresa turbines to be ready for delivery, transportation, and installation at the Mano River Valley construction site in Verity Falls within the next six months. Yes, excellent. What fortune that I was able to engage with a local and highly charitable anonymous magnate willing to support our work at Legrand in this way. I did find it uh, rather odd that they were unwilling to take advantage of our special financing program, yeah? They prefer to deal strictly in cash, apparently. It is a rather significant sum of money, but we are happy he's a fay. Well, this particular anonymous figure only invests in causes he truly believes in. We appreciate the business, and our factory director will be in touch with the grant about further execution of the order. Danke schön. Bitte schön. Who placed the order with Lifestyle? A local philanthropist who wishes to stay anonymous. This is highly unusual. It is, but don't worry. He's taking care of everything. Who told him about the project? He has long ears. So much money. He greatly believes in this project, ma'am. Thousand RPMs. Oof. That's incredible. I'm so proud of you, Cal. What? What? I didn't say anything. Being raised female still gave me feminine intuition. So what's up? You seem different lately. I've been having this dream, a recurring one. About what? It's strange. The dam is nearly complete, right? And I'm deep inside it, admiring the design, when all of a sudden, the dam is activated. So, so the water rushes in and I get swept into a turbine where my body is, is, is violently ripped apart. I mean, I mean, really chewed up. That's when I wake up, but feeling amazing. Like I, like I became a part of the dam forever. Cal, it's just a dream.
Did they approve it? I've never seen it done any faster. When does the bidding start? Next week. Every construction company I know is eyeing this contract. Cal, listen. I know you're reluctant about media attention, but quite a few outfits have expressed interest in you. Someone with your gift owes it to the world to speak out. You have so much to give. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks for taking the time to connect with us, Mr. Modesto. We know you're extremely busy. It's all right. I understand the need for a public face on this whole operation. Precisely. I guess we can start with how long you've been with LeGrant. Uh, it doesn't feel like it at all, but about one year. To what do you most attribute your success at LeGrand? Uh, plenty of time to think and work. And everyone here believes in who I am. It's that simple. Next question. What does your day-to-day -day schedule look like? Nothing out of the ordinary. No, it's regular and conforming. I don't care if my life is uninteresting so long as the work is not. And it's not. You're probably tired of hearing about it, but about the Halo virus pandemic. Yeah. How has it affected your job as a civil engineer? It certainly means less visual variety, but I can still be effective in my role where it counts. Thank heaven for airtime. What was your greatest challenge as lead designer of the dam in the Mano River Valley? Satisfying myself. Making something that I'd be more than proud to put my name on. The dam means a lot to you. It's my whole life at this point. Oh, getting the turbines was the easy part. The difficulty was coming up with a design that fully complemented their potential. Huh. The turbines came from a foreign manufacturer? Yes, from a company called Lystom. Hmm. It's the aspect I'm the most proud of and which took the longest to work out. It's quite an achievement. I've never heard of a dam with lossless hydraulic motion. Could you shed some light on how you managed to do that? Sorry, trade secret. Right, I wanted as less stress as possible on the surrounding natural environment. It's something I was particularly adamant about with the design. Fascinating. Could you tell us more about the fish ladders? They simply allow fish to safely migrate upstream through the dam. It's not a new concept, but it's rarely implemented because certain living things simply don't have a choice or control. Mm. And I don't think that's fair. Do I have any advice for young people interested in becoming civil engineers? As the person responsible for the design of one of the largest public works projects in Verity Falls history, many young people are going to look up to you. Put all your limbs into it and never, never, never quit. Your answers have been great, but I have one last question if you wouldn't mind entertaining it. Sure, go ahead. Do you have any dreams of the future that haven't yet been realized? You've accomplished so much already and- No, no dreams. There's plenty going on in my waking life to worry about any overly dramatic visions of the future. I understand. Thanks so much for your time, Mr. Modesto. Verity Falls is proud to have you as one of its hardworking civil engineers. And I'll be supervising the construction of the dam, which should take about a year, more or less. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. I'm really making a name for myself out here. Cal. Yeah? I want you to stop all of this engineering nonsense right away. Rom, you're breaking the house rules. I know, but no one suspects a thing. And you should see the way everyone treats me. I'm warning you, Cal. Stop it now. No. 
I'm sorry, sir, but I'm doing something great here. And again, I'm safe. Trust me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for showing me around the dam last week. Your team is doing a terrific job in these final stages of construction. I can't believe it's been a year since we started. Incredible. Thank you. You're more than welcome. It's looking like a fine dam, sir. Thanks for all you've done to keep the whole operation on budget and on schedule. Yes, sir. By the way, I've been analyzing the project plan and I have some ideas on how we can start winding down personnel effectively. Yes, sir. I also have some ideas about who we should have on the turbine installation team. Yes, sir. Also, please keep up with the lights dump, folks. The turbine should be here next week. Yes, sir. How's it going? We're a well old machine. Final stages, Cal. Yes, ma'am. By the way, I have some great news for you. I was contacted by ISO, the International Society of Engineers. You've been nominated for their ALMATH award because of your work on the dam. They wanna interview you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, ma'am. They'll be reaching out to you soon. Yes, ma'am. Is this Mr. Cal Modesto of LaGrande? Yes, it is. Hi, I'm an intern at ISO and I'm reaching out about your nomination for our ALMATH award. Right. I was told. It's an honor, truly. So the way this goes is that we like to conduct a fairly basic interview with our nominees that covers their work history and personal background. Standard stuff. All for integrity purposes. Integrity purposes? So we can ensure our nominees actually are who we think they are. Of course, that, that, uh, that makes sense. So when's a good day to start your interview? Um, I can make some time... This Thursday. Sir, we have a problem. What's up? The turbine shipment is indefinitely delayed, sir. What? Why? There appears to be an emergency situation at the departure port, sir. <sighs> what emergency? I don't have any details. A life stun just informed me, sir. Please keep me updated on everything. Yes, sir. I graduated summa cum laude. I'm very proud of that. You were then hired by Legrand, is that right? Uh, yes, and I've been with them ever since. How'd you get involved with the hydroelectric project? Um, a confluence of factors, but it felt like fate, really. Got it. Well, you've shared plenty about your career, but I'd like to know a little bit more about your life before you enrolled at Tailwind University. More about your personal story. M my personal story? Yeah, like what your upbringing was like. My upbringing? Well, I suppose it starts with my father. He was a good man and provided his offspring with a, a firm sense of identity and belonging, I guess you could say. Sir, I have more information about the delay. Yes? It appears a fugitive is suspected of hiding out in the port. The authorities are frozen all activity until a thorough search can be completed, sir. All this for one fugitive? He's responsible for a series of major confidence crimes. He's evaded capture for years, sir. Just our luck. Lifestone is doing all they can to cooperate with the authorities and resume shipments as soon as possible, sir. Do you have any debilitating physical or mental health issues? No. Are you indebted to any financial institution? No. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of any crime? No. Okay. Well, that wraps things up. What's the next step? 
Our director will reach out to you in a week or two about our interview and fill you in on the rest of the process. Great. I'll be sure to let your supervisor know how gracious you've been. Thanks. What was your father's name, by the way? What is it? Sorry to disturb you at such a late hour, sir, but I have good news. Yes? The fugitive was found and killed, sir. That is good news. We described him as a social chameleon, sir, the most dangerous kind of criminal. Anyway, the turbines will be here next week, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. I'm so glad about your nomination. What's up with you? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. What happened? I think they're on to me here at the irrigation firm. What? How do you know? I don't know for sure, but it feels like the calm before the storm. You know, I'm here for you. You know, it's impossible, right? What? You and me. I just looked the part, Cal. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be nominated for your prestigious Alamath Award this year. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ISOs had ties to Verity Falls for years, and we're extremely careful about our selection process. Your intern was most gracious and hospitable. So what's next? Listen, I'm not trying to suggest abject criminal fraud on your part, but about your father. We weren't able to find any evidence of a man by that name or any variation thereof in any local registry. So either our overwhelmingly reliable fact-finding methods are somehow off or, I'm sorry, but we're left with no choice but to rescind your nomination. Good luck in all your future endeavors, Mr. Modesto. Hey, did ISO follow up with you? Yes, they did. What's wrong? I decided to decline the nomination. What? Why? It's way too political and probably rigged. ISO is one of the most highly respected time on. I made up my mind. I'm not interested. I have to look forward to bigger things. In that case, you should check in with our survey team. They may have some new prospects for you to consider now that the dam's almost finished. Hmm. Mr. Cal Modesto, huge fan. Forgive Will, he can be a real sycophant. What? I recognize extraordinary work when I see it, Mary. He's one of LeGrand's finest engineers. What do you need? Right, does LeGrand have any sizable new projects on the horizon? Unfortunately, the state has frozen most public development since last month due to the halo virus. Mm. Well, can you give me a prize if anything comes through? Sure. Anything for Legrand's greatest. What? He's just a guy. Cute one, though. Anything? Nothing, ma'am. That's okay. I was just talking to our VP about a major project we think you'd be the perfect fit for. I'm listening. We thought of you right away. He'll reach out to you about it shortly. Thank you, ma'am. Cow, baby. How have we not had a one-on-one -on -one before? Corporate hierarchy. Okay. So let me tell you what's up in one word. Megadam. Megadam? Yeah. Yeah. Three times the size of our current hydroelectric project. It's a collaboration between Legrand and a company called Arcadia in Costaguana. They need someone to lead their design team and supervise construction. Familiar territory and their salary would set you up for life. All they need is pencil and paper. You'll love Costaguana, a paradise where engineers are practically regarded as deities. Invincible. I'm in. Great. We just need our president to sign off on it and you're good to go. 
I'll put you in touch with the secretary. Good afternoon. I'm trying to reach the president about an open position in Costa Guana. And who is this? I'm Cal Modesto. I'm building the dam for La Grande. I'm sorry, but the president is unavailable at the moment. However, if you give me your name, I can add you to the waiting list. Okay. How many are ahead of me? 66. Listen, I need to have the president sign off on this as soon as possible. It's time sensitive. As I said, if you give me your name, I'll add you to the waiting list. Look, I don't want to get into it right now, but I've done quite a lot for this company. I'm not just some anonymous, inconsequential person. Fine, add me to the waiting list. Your name? Our president is a difficult man to reach. <sighs> just be patient. I'm sure he'll connect with you soon. I'd really like to get to Costa Guan as soon as possible. No, you're right. I'm getting too ahead of myself. I mean, the dam's not even operational yet, and I'm chasing a mega dam. You've already done more than most engineers do in their entire lives. That dam is really something, isn't it? It's your magnum opus. <laughs> Don't worry, Cal. I have a feeling everything will work out just fine. Good afternoon. Is this Mr. Cal Modesto? Yes, who is this? This is Detective Jonathan Smiley of the Verity Falls PD. I'm reaching out to you because you've been identified as a person of interest in an open investigation. Am I in trouble? No, but we may want to sit down and talk with you in the coming weeks. What's this investigation about? I'm not at liberty to say at this time. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm willing to cooperate in any way I can, Detective. I appreciate that. We'll be in touch, Mr. Modesto. Right. It was ISO! I should have seen it coming. I warned you, Cal. I know. I'm sorry I broke the house rules, but you have to understand. I couldn't just lay low. I knew the risk, but I had to follow my dreams. All your what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. So what's your plan now? I'm not sure. But I'm ready to accept my fate. Force comes to worse. Don't worry, Brom. I won't rat you out if anything happens. I'll protect you because I know you do the same for me. Sir. Sir? Yeah, sorry. What's up? The turbines have been installed, sir. All of them? Yes, sir. My team worked double duty and was able to finish the job moments ago. We did it, sir. It's finished. The dam is complete. Okay, before our VP discusses operations training, I'd like to discuss something I brought up privately with Mrs. Darridge. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. It involves the naming of the dam. Yes, I spoke with Mr. Laz about this. That's right. We have indeed. Then I'd like to introduce you to Cal Modesto, designer of our hydroelectric dam. If anyone deserves to have their name grace this wonder of human ingenuity, we believe it should be his. Well, the city is always willing to give credit where credit is due. We'd love to hear from Mr. Modesto about this achievement of his. Yes, this dam represents everything to our community. Great. Cal, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good afternoon, Honorable City Council members, Mr. Laz and Mrs. Derridge. I'd like to start off by saying... Attention, your security clearance is currently pending. Please contact your company. security second, what's going on here? What happened to the meeting? Reference code 2187. Attention, your security clearance is currently pending. Please contact your company. Hey, I was told to contact security. I need to get back to a very important meeting. Who told you to contact us? The, the security system after I was booted from the call. Do you have a reference code? Uh, 
2187. This reference code is only issued when employees are under investigation, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. I can issue a provisional pass until the matter is resolved, but it'll take a few hours to be active. <sighs> what happened to the other security guy with, with the big glasses? Gil? He passed away. Drug overdose. Cal, what happened? You disappeared from today's meeting. Weak signal. When are we meeting with the city council members again? I'm sorry. About what? The city had a deadline for the naming decision. That was our only chance. I tried to cover for you, but they wanted your take on it in your own words. I'm really sorry. By the way, has our president reached out to you yet about the job in Costaguana? That's still a promising prospect, right? So not only was I trusted with one of the largest public works projects in this company's history, it's one of the most well-designed. That's remarkable. Do you think you can reach out to the president and encourage him to expedite my transfer out to Costa Guana? I'll certainly see what I can do. Your name again? I'm Cal Modesto. You're Cal Modesto? Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Modesto, but despite your considerable talents, I've been informed that you're under investigation by our security department. Unfortunately, our office can't help you until their investigation is fully concluded. How'd it go? Cal? What's wrong? You don't know? No, what's up? I'm a security concern. A security concern? You're one of the most honest and trustworthy employees at this company. You don't have a thing to hide. I'm sure whatever's going on will blow over soon. And besides, what's the urgency? What now? Just so you know, the police filed an information request with our department just now. Information request? Are you complying? We have to. What information do they want? Video call recordings mainly, some identification info. This all looks pretty serious, Mr. Modesto. I've never seen the police do this before. I know I don't know everything, but I believe in you, Mr. Modesto. I trust you'll be fine if anything hits the fan. Mr. Modesto. Yes, Detective? My men will be at your apartment in moments to take you into custody. That didn't take very long. When we arrive, please exit your home and slowly approach our vehicles with your hands held high in the air. Yes, sir. We'll conduct the matter as discreetly as possible to avoid a scene. We know you're a respected member of our community. Thank you, sir. You'll be booked at Findel Mente Correctional Facility. Yes, sir. You have the right to remain silent, but do you have any questions? No. I'm willing to fully comply with the entire process, sir. Good. My boys and I are going to have some real fun with you. We love loners. Cal. Good evening, ma'am. What a pleasant surprise. Are you still chair of Tailwind? Yeah, I'll be there forever. Ushering in the next generation of eager young engineers. I tell them about you, you know. They're always impressed. I appreciate that. I should arrange to have you call in and speak to them sometime. I'm sure they'd get so much out of it. By the way, is the dam finished yet? No, not yet. Needs a finishing touch. Anyway, thanks for all you've done for me, ma'am. You're a true woodchuck, Cal. Don't forget that.
Cal, glad you reached out. We need to discuss the plan for the virtual dam activation ceremony coming up next Monday. We've just confirmed the attendance of John L. Providence. John L. Providence? Yes, he's who the city decided the dam will be named after. He's one of the most revered and influential politicians in our city's history. Providence Dam. Also, I'll be sending you my notes about the ceremony. Please review them and get back to me lickety split. Uh, I might be a little tied up with the split part, ma'am. Take your time and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Thanks for everything, ma'am. You got it. I'm proud of you, Cal. Hey, Cal. Hey, Glenn. Listen, I'm sorry about what I said last time we spoke. You're my best queer ally, and I didn't mean to suggest otherwise. I'm not queer, though. You'd marry that damn if you could. Anyway, I came out to my boss last week because of you. Really? Yeah, there's just something about you. You've always made me feel proud and unashamed of who I really am. Thanks for making me feel the same way. It's funny. You're so special to me, yet I barely know anything about you. I mean, who are you, Cal Modesto? You'll know soon enough. Mr. Cal Modesto, it's an honor and a privilege, sir. I'd like to activate the dam ahead of next Monday's ceremony and have we met before? No, but we know all about you out here, Mr. Modesto. So you want to activate the dam, sir? Yes, unlock the turbines and open the intake aperture in approximately 20 minutes. In 20 minutes? Will do, sir. The system will show that a maintenance hatch was open. Ignore that. Yes, sir. Send me down the river. These are the only remains of the co-conspirator, AKA Cal Modesto, recovered from the downstream outlet of the dam in the Mano River Valley. Four years ago, an anonymous multimillionaire, Chaz Brody Jr., pictured here, was murdered by one of Brown Bowell's subordinates. A co-conspirator subsequently assumed the identity and wealth of the victim and chose the name Cal Modesto for his deception. Our organized crime unit quietly intercepted Mr. Bowell earlier this year and secured his cooperation as an informant in exchange for lenient prosecution. He gave up his co-conspirator early on in the negotiation. Despite nothing being known about this person before his involvement in one of the most shocking abuses of civil society in our city's history, his name and work are destined to live on. Verity Falls' largest man-made structure is now commonly referred to as Modesto Dam.